Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'll show you how to extend and expand iSCSI shared data store. Uh, in this video, I'll also show you how to mount shared iSCSI learn through vCenter server. In a previous video, we saw how we add data store directly through ESXi host. And in this video, we will see how we can add iSCSI storage through vCenter server. For this, we need to create a VM kernel adapter on each ESXi host uh, on a separate standard switch. So let's start how we can add iSCSI data store by using vCenter server. And then later we'll see how we can extend and expand iSCSI shared data store. So let's log in on our vCenter server. Let's first create iSCSI adapter on each host. Click on configure, click on virtual switch and I'm going to add a new VM kernel adapter for iSCSI. Click next. I'm going to bind this uh, with a new switch and I'm going to take VM NIC2 and we'll bind this VM NIC with VM kernel adapter for iSCSI. Click next. I'm going to give the name as iSCSI. It's a network label. Click next. Write the IP address here. Subnet mask. Next. And finish. So my VM kernel adapter is created here for iSCSI. Let's do the same thing for on ASX 6 and 7 as well. So we have successfully created a VM kernel adapter on all three ESXi hosts. So our networking is completed now. Now next thing is we need to mount the iSCSI. iSCSI LUN. For this, uh, click on configure, then storage adapter and we need to create one software iSCSI adapter here. Now click on this iSCSI adapter and click on network port binding. Click on add button and select iSCSI here and click OK.
the next thing is click on target click on add and I'm giving here the open filer IP on which our iSCSI learn is available okay now it's mentioning uh, due to recent configuration ch changes a rescan for this adapter is recommended so we need to click this button rescan all storage adapter okay now as you can see both two LUNs are mapped here there are two LUNs each of around 100 GB and if we click on path showing here volume 1 and volume 2 the two LUNs are showing here which is available on open filer and if you click on target this is our iSCSI server and network port winding is having the iSCSI kernel adapter all right do the same thing on the other host need to just rescan this adapter And if we click on the last one, software is good adapter. Alright, so our both the LUNs are mapped on all our three ASXI host. So the next thing is click on the data store. And click on here data store. And as you can see right now it's showing only the local data stores which are available on ESXi host so we need to create a new data store click here create new data store next next first click on iSCSI sorry on host number which is having IP6 this is our first ESXi host data store name is I'm giving here iSCSI data store select the first LUN click next we are going to select VMFS6 or we can continue with VMFS5 next and here I'm um, using only 50 GB of space I'm going to customize this partition this uh, partition is having around 95 GB of space so I'm just using 50 GB from this LUN click next and finish Our iSCSI data store is showing here. We'll do the same here. Okay, two is 
we can check over here on the first host our data store is showing iSCSI showing here as well and it's showing here as well so on all three ESXi host our centralized iSCSI learn is mapped successfully so in this way you can mount the shared iSCSI LUN by using vCenter server on ESXi host. Now the next task I'm going to show you is how we can extend iSCSI shared data store. For this, let me click on the data store tab, then click on iSCSI and click on configure from here you can see the button increase from by clicking on increase tab or you can click over here increase data store capacity or the other way is right click on iSCSI and you can click on increase data store capacity you can choose any way to increase or extend the iSCSI uh, data store capacity so I'll choose the first one, click next. And here I'm using it, saying that right now we have used just 50 GB of space from this data store and 45 GB space is still remaining here. So I'm just click on use free space to expand this data store click next and you can see after increasing the size it will be around 95 GB so click finish now as you can see our data store is expanded successfully now suppose we want to increase this iSCSI data store capacity more then in that case we can extend it by adding another learn to this uh, data store for this click on increase tab then one LUN is available here we click on this LUN click next and either you can use the complete or you can customize as per your requirement so I'm using the complete one click next now after in adding this data store our iSCSI data store size will be going to increase and it will be around 190 GB so click on finish tab click on recent task so you can say see the extend data store process is ongoing and now the size of our shared iSCSI data store is increased to 190 GB so in this way we can extend or expand the iSCSI shared data store if you want to check what are the LUNs behind this data store you can click on device backing and when you click on device backing you can see that there are two LUNs there are two LUNs from which we this iSCSI data store is is using the space so in this way you can mount the shared iSCSI LUN through vCenter server on each ESXi host and you can 
by using this uh, by following this process you can expand or extend the iSCSI shared data store so that's all in this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching and have a good day